What's going on YouTube? Modeling that back at you with a quick build update on the Macabre Mobile. So, uh, finished up uh, quite a bit of the detail work. I've still got a little bit more to go as far as adding some additional PE and um, just kind of finishing off the car itself. Still have the engine detail to finish up. I uh, wanted to take a break from that for the night and uh, kind of focus on Elvira herself. So, uh, at this point, I have the exposed leg done here, so it's kind of the uh, mix of beige brown with a little bit of highlight flush, just to get the uh, color mostly right for kind of the uh, stocking look. Used primarily highlight flush with a little bit of off-white, because uh, again, uh, her character was mostly pasty, really a pale white, almost a true white in some spots. And then I went ahead and used Tamiya X1 uh, for the hair. So letting that dry tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to come back and actually hit this with a coat of X, uh, X22 uh, with a little bit of rapid thinners. That way it can create more of a matte finish on the figure itself. Um, and then, and that's just more or less to lock in the Vallejo. Anybody who's worked with Vallejo colors uh, know they're really, um, you know, they're really sensitive paints. Um, they can damage very easily and things like that. So just want to get it, uh, get something there before I actually leave a fingerprint, which I think I might have actually done here, um, or something to the effect in it. Uh, you can see from me grabbing at the dress, it's uh, rubbed through uh, down to the base. So just want to get a solid uh, clear on it, um, and that way that is a little bit more, you know, hand friendly uh, to finish painting up. So. Let me go ahead and move the little bit of sticky tack up here so I can let her sit and dry tonight. There we go. Now, onto the detail that I got onto the Macabre Mobile itself. Um, so, again, as you've seen in the last update, I have the car finished. I went ahead and utilized uh, some literal duct tape, uh, aluminum duct tape. Uh, cut that out and put that on. It's a really cheap alternative uh, to bare metal foil if you don't want to spend for that. Um, first real kind of go at doing this, and I think it actually turned out pretty damn nice. Um, main reason for adding this detail is the car that she had in the movie is actually a 59. The big difference between 58 and 59 uh, is the uh, detailing the Thunderbird logo script instead of being up here on the front which it is on a 58 and having the molded in uh, i don't know if you want to call them louvers or whatever those uh were deleted thunderbird was moved back here and then you have this nice little arrow trim piece uh, which is very visible in the movie car so it doesn't take a lot to kind of switch this up granted is there are other changes from a 58 to 59 probably but at the same time, again, um, you know, we're kind of left with what we're given by the manufacturer to uh, start with. Uh, the other side went ahead and got that in as well. Thunderbird scripts in there. I do have the uh, front logo all done, as well as the headlights. I uh, might come back and just touch a little bit with some uh, alcohol to try to get rid of a little bit of over uh, overmarking with the uh, black Sharpie that I had. I accidentally touched the actual front of the lens. So probably we'll come back and try to touch those in. Um, you can also see here the nice windshield wipers that are in place on the car. So let me zoom back out and I will turn this baby around. Tail's pretty much done at this point. Um, the PE markings didn't have the correct second Thunderbird logo for the rear, uh, so I took the logo that should have been placed in the interior and went ahead and placed it on the tail here. Be honest, it fits the part really nice. Um, you know, again, unless you're a rivet counter, uh, not really going to notice the difference or anything like that. But as you can see, the uh, tail lights with the 
X20, or I'm sorry, the X27, I think it is. Yeah, X27, clear red. Um, those turned out really nicely. Uh, it's obviously looking more of a bright red uh, on camera, just because, again, you know, the camera wants to increase the brightness with the black back, uh, the blackness of the car. Uh, in real life, it is a dark red, uh, just like a true tail light should be. So, uh, still obviously have to get the steering column in, finish up with that, and then uh, a little bit more of uh, just kind of getting a couple of little bits. I think I might try to lightly polish this area here uh, where I had to touch in with a little bit of X1 just to try to go ahead and get that smoothed back out. It's kind of been bugging me the last night or so, but overall happy with how the car is coming out. Uh, kind of can't wait to have this one in the case and on the shelf. Um, yeah, that way it's all protected and stuff like that. Um, as it is with black, it's getting fingerprints all over it. So looking forward to having this thing locked into the display case. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the series so far. Got a couple more parts that will be coming out here just to get everything finished on up and um, the final reveal video on Monday. So you might get a few parts over the weekend uh, just to catch you guys up so that the reveal video uh, will be debuting Monday at 3 p.m. Would do 3 a.m., but I don't think I'd get too many views. So <laughs> in either case, um, I will... Uh, obviously like comment subscribe you know share with anybody you know that would like this kind of content and i will see you guys in the next one peace